He's also done some other things. So recently he did um, uh, some pieces, and I'll show you the pieces here um, just so you can see them. So this is um, so he used some Jean um, uh, some Basquiat pieces, um, and Basquiat is uh, pretty famous. He's actually the I guess you call him the original Banksy, the original Shepard Fairey. He was like the original street artist. He was down with like Warhol and stuff like that. And uh, just so y'all know, um, we always get uh, Basquiat pieces in at the Jordan Schnitzer Museum. There's always one there. Every time I'm there, there's at least one, maybe two. And Basquiat uh, was, yeah, the first street artist, first famous one. He used to write Samo, S-A-M-O. It meant same old shit. And eventually people started prying off like doors and stuff like they re recognized it as valuable art. Um, but uh, Basquiat, you know, he's, he's passed away and stuff. So his family manages his, his estate. But this is a pretty famous piece. I believe it's like, I, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like guy and dog. And then he's really known for these crowns. This is like a signature of his. He did these, these crowns. And so um, just so you can see the pieces. And then underneath... Um, you know, you can see uh, you can see Banksy did a piece with with the man and dog um, being frisked by cops with his his traditional stencil art. Oh, I'm sorry, my eyes are itching like a motherfucker out here, um, pollen and shit. Um, and then he did a Ferris wheel with uh, Basquiat style, um, you know, crowns as the carts or whatever. So, anyways, um, and he did these pieces, these two pieces outside of the um, the. Uh, Barbican Center, which is a, 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 an English museum. And he did this because the Barbican Center was doing um, a whole exhibit of Basquiat's art. And Banksy thought it was ironic, hypocritical for them to feature a street artist, graffiti artist essentially, um, you know, who's and exploit them essentially their their art but yet is very anti-graffiti you know doesn't think aerosol art is art um you know wipes out all graffiti on its walls etc so banksy did these pieces on their on their walls to critique to critique uh the barbican center um you know so it's pretty it's pretty interesting you know um and the one thing to note you know too if, if you read through the article that that talks about this is like you know the thing is this, is Banksy owns those expressions, maybe, um, the artwork he did, um, the issue would be appropriating Basquiat's art, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, but the Barbican Center could actually cut out those walls and display the Banksy art inside. They could cut out those walls and sell them for $4 million each. They could do whatever they want. They just can't reproduce the art on like t-shirts or in magazines or you know, posters or postcards, but they do own the actual artwork because it was done on their property. So when you see all these people who are cutting out walls, brick walls, whatever, where Banksy art has been done and selling it for a lot of money, it's because they have the right to do that. They, they can't reproduce the intangible, meaning the, the artwork itself, but they certainly own the property that, that it's on and they can, they can exploit that economically. Um, but, you know, so yeah, of course the Barbican Center could cut out, they own those walls, they could, they could sell the, the Banksy works, it doesn't matter. The interesting thing is that, um, you know, Basquiat's family manages his estate um, they're pretty protective of his, his artwork and the copyright on, on his artwork. Um, and, you know, but also, like, the question kind of is, like, you know, could Banksy um, be sued by Basquiat, you know, his family? And the answer is probably, yeah. <laughs> You know, uh, Basquiat's family still has the copyright on his work. I mean, he died in 1988, so whatever, 70 years past that. Um, you know, so they still have 38 years of copyright protection. I did math. Yes. Um, maybe it was wrong. <laughs> um, but, um, you know, the question is, you know, is Banksy's use of Basquiat's work fair use? The, you know, really, who's he commenting on? He's commenting on the museum. He's doing a satire, right, on consumerism and exploitation of the museum and what is art and all that stuff. 
And so um, if we were to look at fair use, remember when you appropriate someone, someone's image, images or, or, or expressions, you have to critique them directly. So he doesn't make a critique on, on, bank, uh, on Basquiat. So does he build on the originals or does he exploit them? Let's just think about this purpose, right? We look at P. He would probably be not fair under P because although he's making a statement, he's not making a statement on Basquiat. He's making a statement on the museum. And that's satire and that typically won't allow you to be protected. Are the originals creative nature? Of course, yes, not fair. What did he use? Did he use the whole bit, the, you know, the heart? I mean, all of it, amount, it would be unfair. And market harm. Does this create market harm for Basquiat's family? Unlikely. Um, I mean, again, Banksy's not profiting off it. No one knows who the fuck Banksy is, really, definitively, so it'd be hard to sue. Is his use a fair use? Maybe. <laughs> You know, again, it's just to think through it. Like, I like to think through these things. And is his use of fair use? Eh. It would be maybe under market he'd kind of get away just because he's not mass reproducing um, the stuff. But, you know, it may be unfair because it's not transformative enough. It's exploiting Basquiat's work to make a critical statement about, about the museum. So, anyways, just thinking through some stuff um, there.